Hello, I'm Aman, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you why your Amazon Elastic Block Store volume is stuck in the attaching state for more than 10 to 15 minutes by looking at the two most typical scenarios. Let's get started. In the first scenario, we'll attach a new EBS volume to an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance as slash dev slash XVDA. Open the Amazon EC2 console and navigate to volumes under Elastic Block Store. Select the volume that you want to attach and then choose Actions, Attach Volume. For Instance field, enter the name or instance ID of an EC2 instance in the same availability zone that you want to use. For device, enter the name that you want to use. In this case, as I am simulating the issue, I'll use slash dev slash xvda and choose attach. This causes my volume to become stuck in the attaching state. If we look at this instance in the Amazon EC2 console, there is already another volume attached as slash dev slash sda1, which at the OS level is mapped to slash dev slash xvda. This causes a discrepancy at the OS level and the new volume becomes stuck in the attaching state. This issue can easily be resolved by using a different device name that is not used at the OS level. For example, in this case, I don't see any block device that maps to the name slash dev slash xvdf in the list of all attached block devices. Therefore, I can use this name in the Amazon EC2 console and continue using the volume as device slash dev slash xvdf at the OS level. To do this, we can force detach the volume and reattach with the new name slash dev slash xvdf. In the second scenario, we'll force detach a secondary volume attached as slash dev slash xvdf without unmounting it at the OS level. Then we'll try to attach another volume as slash dev slash xvdf to the same instance. As you can see from the Amazon EC2 console, this volume is currently attached to my instance as slash dev slash xvdf. Now, when I use SSH to connect to the instance and run the df-h command, we can see that this volume is currently mounted as slash data. If I force detach this volume from the Amazon EC2 console, it's detached from the instance. However, if I go back to the SSH terminal and run the df-h command again, we can see that the volume is still mounted as slash data even though the volume is detached. This is because the block driver for the EC2 instance does not release the device name for reuse. If I now attach the same or a different EBS volume as slash dev slash xvdf from the Amazon EC2 console, the volume becomes stuck in the attaching state. This issue, just like the first scenario, can also be resolved by using a different device name that is not in use. However, if you absolutely must use the device name that is not working, for example, because of a system or application dependency, you can reboot the instance. Doing this releases the device name, and then you can attach the volume using the same name again. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.